All right, some of you might find this video very interesting. I'm still starting the glue crystal cell battery. I'm still trying to figure out if it's galvanic or not. Uh, some of you want to see me light an LED, and I'm working on it. It's just I want to get a good, strong foundation of these cells and learn how they function before I do anything major. I have some things actually planned out or are actually pretty phenomenal with the things I'm about to do. Um, but many, many as you know, um, what determines the voltage of the, is the metals themselves, the difference between them. Uh, electrons and damage shells. And I'm not going into too much detail about galvanic, galvanic reaction. Um, basically, a galvanic cell, why is it so bad? It's because galvanic cells uh, destroy the metals and the metal get destroyed and the battery stops. And that's why we're not after This is why galvanic cells are such a bad thing. Um, I think this might be galvanic, but it's not really showing itself to be galvanic. If it is galvanic, it's a much, much mature, much more fine-tuned galvanic cell. Um, this cell in particular has been shorted out for weeks and it still bounces back to the original voltage. So it doesn't produce a constant voltage, it drains at first, but it always recharges itself to original voltage. So that's something very unique and special. Never really seen that happen in a galvanic cell, and the plates look just like new, like they just came out and put in there, and the material is all hard. And what I've been studying, I'm trying. This is what this video is about: is um, the bigger the plates are, the um, the more amps. It's the different metals create the voltage. The bigger the plates create the amps. Um, bigger the amp, or I mean, bigger the plates, uh, more amperage you get. And that's what I thought I could do. That's what I thought I can get. Um, this cell, I can't, my meter cannot pick up any amperage reading. I'm going to put it on the micro amps. Not milli, micro. And you can see openly nothing. So, uh, with that idea, I took this cell and I scaled it up to a 4 inch by 4 inch. Uh, scale or plates uh, right here is plastic over the aluminum the, uh, not the aluminum the copper to protect it and this is I put the plastic back right there so that's where I'll be taking my readings right there and then not to make sure I'm not fooling I also give you a voltage reading on this one too uh, here's the aluminum size so it's four inches by four inches and the uh, glue crystal cells in the middle of it it's already dry. It's been drying for 24. Actually, this has been driving for drying for 48 hours. So, I'll show you guys this one. No amperage. None. No amperage. None whatsoever. There's that plastic piece. Here's a copper piece. So there's no no amperage. To make sure I'm not fooling you guys, I'm going to switch it to voltage. And there it is in voltage. So we're reading voltage. So, so what I've learned is a galvanic cell. I know the bigger the plates are, the more amperage you get. So jumping from this to this, I should see some type of amperage, and I'm not. So what I've concluded is that I cannot confirm that this is a galvanic process. If anything, this is merely a source dipole. And I say that because it's, it's not requiring amperage. So it's not destroying the cell. No amps means no destroying the cell. So I have an endless amount of energy or voltage potential um, that I can tap into, which can do work. Um, you just have to treat that work right now. I got things in the process right now uh, that I'm working on that will really make these cells something very useful, even though they output 0.500 volts. So, yeah, so far, what I've confirmed is that this is at least uh, this is much bigger. This is, I should be seeing some amperage. So, all I've confirmed so far is that I cannot confirm that this is a galvanic process because a galvanic process. The bigger the plates, the more amperage you would get. And so far, I'm not getting amps. So I'm still going to investigate a little bit more. If this is a galvanic process, this is a very fine-tuned galvanic process. So I don't know.
I can't confirm it, nor deny, nor nor uh, deny it. So it is what it is, and so far I have a a dipole that won't be destroying itself. That's the only thing I know.